good morning boys and girls it is a crispy 37 degrees out and if you cannot tell i'm looking a little thicker than normal had to layer up it's gonna be a cold one this morning we're gonna slip off in here See if we can't get old Tom tell us what he's gonna do today, and uh, hopefully knock one down. Little step brother shot one yesterday afternoon, and uh, that was his first ever turkey. So congratulations, Dylan. We're gonna get parked and get ready. We will see y'all when the sun comes up. It's chilly. I've had one goblin up on the hill right across from me for the past four or five minutes since daybreak. He's just going back and forth up on that hill. It sounded like he had a bunch of hens. So we're probably gonna have to wait him out. Let them hens kind of split off and then see if he'll make a move then. We'll see. He finally shut up, so I guess I'm gonna pack up, make a loop around to the last spot I heard him at, and we'll go from there.
smoked him, baby. Smoked him. So that dark tree right there is where I set up at. There's a trail that runs all the way gobbled at the about right here. He was out in that field and he come up and he got on this trail. He got on this trail right here. And it would have come right all the way to me. 20 yards. 15 yards. And uh, he hit this low spot down here. And he just come right up here. I saw him skirting me and I thought I'd, I had to swing on him. I knew I had to swing on him, but thankfully there's a couple trees that was big enough for him to stand behind for just a couple seconds. And uh, he popped out and he gobbled one more time. He stepped out and there's a little tree. I think it might've been this one right here. He was standing behind. Might've been that one up there, I don't know. Anyway, he was standing behind it for a minute and he gobbled and I was waiting for him to clear it and said, as soon as he cleared that thing, I just let her eat. Smack down. Oh, man. Friday was such a pain in the butt. Got swamped on middle of the day everything just soaked it's been drying out for the past two days it's a pretty morning it's cold this morning 37 at the end of april a day's goblin i was making my way down that trail and him and his buddy there's two of them down there i heard one gob a little bit further down the field, but they wasn't far from each other. I was just scratching and uh, soft calling the whole way down here. And I looked up and he never gobbled once. And I seen him running down the edge of the field. I was like, goodness gracious, I couldn't do nothing but just drop and find the closest tree. And of course, it's the most open spot in the woods that I've come to whenever he gobbles. But he stood down there strutting and gobbling for five, ten minutes. He worked off enough that I could get back. I got on the other side of this trail up against this tree in front behind this lay down. Man. And y'all know the rest.